Welcome to video 92 in series 3 and in this video I'm going to draw the canvas ammo UI. Now attach to the rifle add a UI canvas and I'll just call it canvas ammo. I'm going to uh, change a couple of things about it. First of all, change it to world space and I'll change the scale right down to 0.005 so it's really small. I'll change the width and height as well. I think it's like 120. Or rather, 100 and 25. And I'll change the position as well. So x is 0, y is minus 0 0.05. I think z is about 0.2. Then I'll add in a UI panel, and I'll change it so it's centered. So this I'll make it 750 by 250. I'll change the scale as well to like 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, so it's nice and small and it'll look really sharp, and the Y rotation to like 87. I'll change the color to black and increase the alpha to about 150 thereabouts. I'll also attach a horizontal layout group and change it so that all of these padding values are 20, 20, 20, and spacing 20, and put it to middle center. OK. In the panel, I'll add a uh, input field, and I'll call this one input field current ammo. I'll turn off interactable, change the color to uh, full black, and I'll also put in a uh, layout element. There it is, layout element. I'll give it a minimum width of uh, 150. OK, and while I'm at it, I'll just type in some default text, just so I can see it, maybe put like 30. OK, now going to the text item itself, the child object, let's edit that as well. I'll center it, turn on uh, best fit, Change that max size to like 130, and change the color to full white. OK. All right, so that's it for the input field. Now I'll add a uh, text, UI text, and I'll call it text divider. And I'll add a layout element as well, and a mi min minimum width of 100. And uh, just center it as well. Best fit. Change it to full white. Change the text to just be a forward slash. And I'll change the max size to be like 300. There we go. OK, so that's the text divider done. Uh, next, add in another input field. So UI uh, input field. And this one is carry demo. So eventually, when we get to that, this is what the player ammo box script, the value inside of that, is what will come into this uh, input field. Turn off interactable, uh, change the color to black. OK, and as for the uh, default text, just so we can see it, how it looks, just put 100. And I'll uh, add a uh, layout element. And I'll just put the minimum width at uh, 150. OK. Going to the text. So center it. Best fit. Set the max size to like 130. I'll set the color to white. OK. So we're mostly there. 
I'm also going to, though it's not part of part of the ammo, it's I'm gonna add the uh, burst fire indicator image as well. So I'll just add in an image here and uh, just put in the layout element. It will have a minimum width of 100. I'll set the Y scale to 0.5, so it's a bit lower. And I'll change the color to some green, some bright green. Okay. And I'll just call that image uh, Burst Fire. And I'll add a text to it as well. And I'll just type in there, Burst. Okay, uh, center it. Change the scale in Y to 2, since I uh, reduced it earlier, since the parent is shorter. It won't look uh, skewed or funny. And, uh, yeah, actually, for the text color, I'll set it to black. And I'll set the max size to like 100, so it's a bit more visible, uh, the actual text. Okay, uh, and to start with, I will have this image disabled. So the uh, burst fire only turns on when you turn on the burst fire mode. So it makes sense to leave it disabled to begin with. Okay. So let's just apply all the changes to the gun prefab. Oh, I'm not finished yet, actually. I should go to the item UI and drop in the canvas ammo. So now when I throw the gun, uh, it'll get disabled. So apply that. And uh, just collapse that. Let's hit play. Okay, let me just get rid of that, get rid of that. Okay, there we go. There's the gun. If I throw it, there we go. The canvas is gone. Pick it up, it's back. Okay, so perfect. Of course, there's no, uh, no, well, nothing to happen with it. Not till we've written the scripts for the gun, but at least we've got the UI set up for now. Alright, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.